What's up, Virgo? This is Soul, and Virgo, we're going to look at some energies for you uh, regarding love and relationships. Uh, the messages will be for Virgo suns, moons, Virgos rising signs, singles, couples, Virgos who are into same-sex loving energy. So, Virgo, I'm uh, going to draw an oracle a message uh, for you from the uh, Lovers Oracle deck. We're going to start this off first here, so I'm just doing a quick shuffle. Um, I did receive my Victorian, my new Victorian Romantic uh, Tarot deck. It's the fourth edition. She's uh, Karen Mahoney has changed some things around. Uh, she's added uh, an additional emperor. So there's now two emperors. There's two lovers. There's two devils. Uh, so and then she changed some images around and uh, a few cards. Um, but you know, all is beautiful here. All right. So the card that I have uh, chosen for you for your uh, Oracle message and support is it says here, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay. So that is your Oracle message for the month from the lover's oracle all right so let's get into these uh energies here uh i know i have low battery but let's see if i can make it through all these cards should be in the upright position here and we want to take a look at the energies for virgo suns moons and virgo rising signs what's going on here with virgo what's coming up for virgo Okay, Virgo, we are going to start off the energy for you with all right, the Ten of Pentacles, your own energy. So in a love reading, this is the card of feeling secure, of feeling abundant, and mind, body, soul, as well as spirit. It could be that you're already, you know, feeling these energies and you're in a partnership, or it could be that you're single and you're still feeling that way. You're, you know, secure within yourself. You don't really, um, you may want a relationship, but you don't need a relationship. So that's the kind of energy uh, coming out of the Ten of Pentacles. So we're not talking about, you know, working finances here. We're just staying uh, strictly focused on love and relationships. So the card here opens you up feeling abundant in the month of june all right so that's your own energy virgo taurus as well as capricorn in the shadow here we have the judgment card major arcana and uh this is the self-awareness card uh, what's hidden in the dark comes to the light i always say it could be that you discover something about yourself uh, that you didn't know before, uh, attach that energy to relationships, or it could be something that you uh, discover about someone else. Uh, but it doesn't have to be negative or positive. Gabriel is usually the uh, archangel that resides over the uh, judgment card. So you're spiritually watched over, you're spiritually protected. Uh, you're also spiritually guided too. So pay attention to any intuitive prompts, inner voices. That's usually your spirit, your own spiritual uh, energies trying to grab your attention. Uh, and also too, the most important thing about the judgment card is in the month of June, do not be hard on yourself here, v uh, Virgo. Don't criticize yourself um definitely don't judge yourself and you don't want to express that energy and pass it off on to other people um it's called karma okay so be very very careful about um you know being critical towards self or others harsh towards self or others judgmental towards self or others this is your shadow energy here What's oh, look at that. At least you can get the tower. Uh, anyway, um, following the Ten of Pentacles here for you, Virgo, we have the uh, Nine of Pentacles. And you know, guys, I love when the elements show up for the sign that I'm reading for. Now, in this case, Nine of Pentacles will represent options, okay? Uh, stamina still, because it's the card of you know, progress and hard work. Take that energy if you are already a Virgo who is, um, you know, partnered. You know, congratulate yourself, pat yourself on the back for keeping that relationship together. It also could be the uh, expression of energy for uh, Virgo singles out there, you know, having to endure, having the stamina to um, feel secure within yourself, feel stable. And you didn't have a partnership, but you're open. You know, the options are open for you to connect with someone uh, and how lucky they will be if they have an opportunity to connect with you because you're feeling, you know, secure. You're just feeling, um, you're definitely feeling secure. You're feeling stable. Uh, like I said, stamina. Okay. You endured. So maybe you've endured a lot to get to where you are 
at this particular moment. All right, so Nine of Pentacles opens, um, well, that would be in your immediate environment, and it's a card of options. So again, uh, following the Nine of Pentacles, depending on what else um, opens up, it could be, you know, new connections for those who are single. All right, so following the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, a card of options again. This is a card of balance. As I always say, when this card shows up here, she's leaned up against the wall watching her husband, boyfriend, lover, whatever, doing some sort of pottery all is well. There's no worries, no concerns. They're just enjoying the moment together. So being that it's an even number of uh, pentacles, the energy that you put out there uh, to others, Virgo, uh, you get that energy back as well. Keep in mind, just like the nine of pentacles, I mentioned options. So there could be potential new suitors for you to connect with if you are interested in connecting with someone new. Um, following the Eight of Pentacles, now we have the, there it is, the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight in Shining Armor comes to the emotional rescue for some Virgos out there. Now, this card here is the uh, Romance card, definitely the card of love. It's a court card. So again, based on the option cards that are showing up, the Nine of Pentacles, and I would regard the Ten of Pentacles as an option card too, um, but we also have the Eight of Pentacles. So there is love on the horizon if you are, you know, um, a Virgo who is single and interested in a new connection. The Nine of Cups, however, would still represent those Virgos who are already in established relationships and you're just enjoying your relationship that you have and that connection. It's a lot of love. Uh, emanating from that card, you know, the energy of what you uh, receive, you're giving back. So equanimity, and that's the Knight of Cups, okay? So representing Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Following the Knight of Cups here for you, Virgo, we have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands, two tens in a reading, no matter if it's general, weekly, or love, it's auspicious. It mirrors the Ten of Pentacles. So I still re would regard this as, uh, you know, one, my busy my busiest B card. So when it comes to those relationships, hey, you're going to be busy. Some of you want to find yourself busy um, doing stuff with your uh, existing partnerships, or it could be the singles, putting your energy out there uh, to meet someone new, make a new connection. Okay. But you will have the energy uh, to do all that you need to do. All right. Ten of Wands here represents fire, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Up next is the Five of Swords. So now you are the fourth sign that has received the Five of Swords. Uh, for some strange reason, it's just been popping up. So it's a card of mental challenges, right? Um, it's slight mental challenges, or maybe that, you know, when it comes to your relationships, Virgo, that you have to, um, you know, sort some things out, get things in order. I've used the scenario here that this could be you, uh, Virgo, who is single, and then this couple here could be you interfering. I regard this. So oftentimes it's the three of swords, but do not read this as the three of swords. I'm just giving you a scenario here because there's three characters. So this could be you who is single and then there's somebody that you may be interested in, but they're already partnered. That's creating some sort of conflict for you. Or this could be you and you're in a partnership and then someone on the outside here is trying to create some conflict for you in your partnership. So it all depends on what is going on with you uh, in your situation. If it is not any types of interference or conflicts with another person or another party, then again, take this Five of Swords energy and just know that <clears throat> uh, when it comes to some sort of uh, element of your relationship, there's something that is conflicting, okay? But it's minor. Um, when these fives come through, um, you know, they have a potential of expressing themselves, but it's the type of energy that doesn't stick around too long. Okay. Following the five of swords that represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ace of Wands. So there's good news in connection with your relationships. All right. There is uh, underneath the nine of pentacles that could be a new connection. There's always a touch of uh, surprise, an element of surprise here that comes in very, very quickly. Um, but the overall aspect here is that there is going to be some sort of a news arriving uh, regarding your relationships, Virgo, and it's coming in very, very quick. All right, so that's fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Up next here we have the, now you have the three of swords. Leo, ha I think it was Leo. Somebody, Leo had the three of swords and the tower, unfortunately. So whenever this card shows up here, no matter 
what cards that I have laid down preceding it, it's here for somebody. Somebody is grieving a situation. Someone is not happy with a situation. This still could indicate it mirrors the card that I just spoke about that would represent the Three of Swords energy. Somebody, there's a third party that could be in play. Couples that could still be together, but there's distance that separates them. That causes the grief, sadness, and heartache. There still could be, even though it's underneath the balance card of the Eight of Pentacles, this is still a divorce card, okay? The dog always represents a friend, and it could be a family member, or it could be, you know, a friend um, who is there to support you if the Three of Swords energy does express itself. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius represents the Three of Swords. Up next here, we now have the Chariot. So Major Arcana, the Chariot shows up here. This is very positive. And normally, because it's a card, you know, of motion, movement, it's usually in positive sense. So either, you know, you're moving towards something positive, a Virgo, regarding a relationship, or there's something uh, moving positive towards you in a, a relationship. Traveling still involved. Say passage to, say passage from. If you're traveling with uh, a romantic partner um, currently, or if you're traveling, if you're single, to meet somebody new or somebody um, is traveling to come visit you, say passage to, say passage from. Uh, oftentimes, I equate this with that of the uh, star card. And so networking, that creates more uh, energy to put out there if you are, you know, that Virgo who is single and looking to connect with someone new. Uh, again, you have the option cards here. OK, so online dating, whatever your favorite social media is, you know, building up those uh, alliances through those means, friendships and then developments. Um, possibly leading into romance. All right, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces represents the chariot. Your very last card here in this reading for you, Virgo, is the your own energy, the hermit, okay? So there could be some sort of um, temporary uh, detachment, you know, soul searching for some of you. Uh, it may not be deep soul searching, but it's some sort of energy where you um, just need to, you know, it could be a, just a temporary detachment from your current relationship, but all is well. Uh, it, it mirrors the Three of Swords, so it may have something to do with the Three of Swords energy. However, the uh, Hermit card for me in terms of uh, energy is neutral. Uh, so it's just going within, having to be withdrawn a little bit. Uh, if you have to think about some things, it, it also too mirrors the Five of Swords, which is the card of challenges in conflict so maybe sorting something out here um and it's attached to your relationship but only you know that i'm just you know giving you the messages what i think may be um you know the situation in any event though um virgo okay so you do have um some great energy to um focus on here to potentially open up for you and as i said into um you know leo's video and i think you know, Cancer's video from last week, don't focus so much on the Three of Swords because that's what people do. Then, you know, they dislike the entire video instead of just saying, hey, you know, brother just put these messages up here, taking his time, giving his time and delivering the message. I can't control um, the cards in terms of, because I always say tarot is direct. It's one of the major reasons why I don't like doing clarifiers. When you have the three of swords, then, you know, if they're, you know, the nine of swords or the tower, then, you know, other readers, which, you know, they do what they want to do. But I'm not going to clarify because that's what, for me, that goes into deeper energies. Okay. You know what I mean? Somebody will understand what I'm talking about. You just keep throwing cards to clarify stuff just so that you can get something positive. To remove whatever negative card that you you know that shows up here for you and that's not how i, I do that because like i said before if you are into tarot and you know anything about tarot tarot is direct but i don't you know discount any other reader for using clarifiers they do what they need to do um and maybe that's why they got more viewers than me but that's okay i'm still going to stick to my um situation because clarifying doesn't work for me because it's just you'll continue to clarify stuff 
And when does it ever end? That's my point. So it has to end somewhere. And this is why I say that tarot is direct. All right, so uh, Virgo, again, sorry about that ramble. Enjoy the holiday once again. Happy Memorial Day because this is going to go up before Memorial Day. I also am doing the weekly. So again, I'll be saying happy Memorial Day because the 30th starts the new week. Um, be happy, be safe, enjoy, and uh, keep smiling for me, and I'll talk to you soon.